Hello and welcome back to Finding Megita Jones. We are back. Um, I haven't done a video, I feel like forever. Um, the last video was in late October. So this one will be a cash unstuffing um, of my expenses. Um, since for those of you who don't know, I use prop money in my cash envelopes and I put all my charges through my credit cards and I use the prop money to represent and visualize what I can spend on a weekly, daily and weekly basis um, within my budget. So it keeps me on track, it keeps me on budget, and it works for me. So today, as I said, we're doing a cash on stuffing and we're going to see how much I spent. Actually, I've been doing pretty good, guys. I haven't really spent that much. So if this is something that interests you, stay tuned and we'll see how much I spent. <music> This should be a pretty quick video because um, I only, this month, I haven't really done much. I only spent money on groceries and of course our all time favorite eating out. So we're gonna kind of see, oh, and I spent, I think I spent a little money in f the fine category. So let's let's just, just let's see what we did here. Um, Dollar Tree eating out. So in eating out, we spent $88. And I have forty dollars in eating out category, so we're gonna put that right there. So today is, I'm filming this on eleven sixteen minus eighty eight and eighty eight minus forty equals negative forty eight. Eighty eight negative forty eight. That's we're not off to a good start. This is not a good start. Okay, so we're gonna put this back in here. Um, but we will. What will? What usually happens is, since this is the first paycheck of November, I will be um, making up most of this with my second paycheck of November, and that means I will have less money for the rest of the month for eating out because I've already eaten it. There you go. So in the fun category, we spent five dollars. So that should be easy. This is 11, what did I say it was, the 16th, negative five, and um, we have five dollars left. So we're gonna put this 10 right here. I'm gonna have to make change. So that was easy peasy. Um, so how is everybody doing? Um, I can't believe that next week is actually going to be Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm just, I feel like it was summer like I feel like July, June and July was like last week. It's it's really weird. But the weather's telling me that it's almost Thanksgiving, which is good. I'm enjoying the cool weather. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm personally enjoying it. Um, let's see, we're gonna do groceries. We have $100 and in groceries I spent 114. So 11, 16, minus 114, negative 14. Okay, so. All together, if I do my math correctly, 114 plus 88 plus 5 equals, I should have 207, so I just have to make change with this. We're going to go to the bank. This is, for those of you, this is where I keep my prop money, which I call it the bank. We're going to go make change for this 10 with two fives. And I think this, this, this might be one of the quickest videos I've ever done. This is crazy. Crazy. So, oh, got to put the tin back. There we go. There we go. Gonna put the five over here, and oh, okay. I know. I'm short. Okay. 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 I always do this for me. I do this every time when I'm when I'm um over in a category, I look at my spent going, how come I'm short? Because you're over, you gotta make it up somehow. So you'll make it up when I do my cash stuffing. If you guys haven't seen that, uh, my cash stuffing is gonna be the next video I do after this one, and you'll see how I make up these negative amounts in my categories. So we're gonna put $5 back into, oh, first of all, let's put groceries. 
groceries back in here. And do that. And we're in, this was fun. So we're gonna put five dollars back in fun. And call it a day. And we're gonna go to our spent. Where's my spent? Oh, okay. And then we're gonna go to our spent and we're gonna add we're gonna $145 to our spent, which we know we've, we actually spent 207, but I'm only gonna add 145. So 1116 plus 145 equals 145. Okay, that was quick and dirty. And we're gonna put this in my spent. And how this works is, um, I kind of went through it quickly, but how this works is um, every month I do a budget for myself. I allocate, I allocate how much I'm gonna spend um, into my cash envelopes, which are these, and my sinking funds. And what I do is I take, I leave the money when I get paid, it goes directly into my checking account and I just leave the money in my checking account. I don't touch it. I have my credit cards uh, set to auto pay. So I have my credit card set to auto pay the full amount when it's due, so I'm never late. And so um, when I'm doing my budget, I just uh, allocate money within my budget in these envelopes. And that's how I know when I go to the grocery store, I can spend $100, $114. Now, the way, the reason I can do, um, use a credit card and um, use prop money is because I've been out of debt for quite some time. And um, because I've been out of debt, I've gone, I've gone back and forth between using the cash, um, cash envelope system. And I've just recently got back into the cash envelope system as of July because I found out during the pandemic I was spending a little bit too much money and I need to get a control over it. So I started doing this, but I wanted to figure out a way to continue using my credit cards for the travel points, but also remain on a, on a budget. And I couldn't doing it on paper or it just strictly a spreadsheet didn't really work for me I, i'm a visual person so i needed the visual and what this does is visually tell me um yes in households i have ten dollars and um in groceries i have a i overspent by 114 dollars now the reason i can overspend in a category is because um it, within getting out of debt I've, having been out of debt for more than five years now I've uh, created a cushion in my checking account. So I have a cushion in my checking account. So if I go over, it hits that cushion. But what I try to do during the month is to not go over. So since this is the first two weeks of the month and I have another paycheck coming, since I went over here, my other paycheck is gonna come and fill in and give me some more money to put into these envelopes to complete the full month. And I will make up this difference when I do my next cash stuffing for my second cash stuffing for the month of November. So um, that's kind of like a brief explanation of how my system works. And it's been working really, really well. Um, I know people don't consider prop money spending real money. Trust me, it is. My credit card um, balance gets paid off every month. The money comes out of my account and it matches what's in these envelopes because I make sure that I do these reconciliations every two weeks when I'm paid so that I'm not over. And I also know because I stuff, because I go through the process of stuffing these envelopes with the prop cash, I kind of know how much I can spend. And it's usually not that different from month to month. So um, it really has kept me on track. It really has, I haven't spent nearly as much money as I was spending in the first half of this year. I was, I'm able to save more on my sinking funds. I'm able to save more on um, things that, for, I was able to save for Christmas. I was able to save for pay cash for a vacation I took in September. So those things would have just been, oh, I'll just pay it off the cuff and it would have been slowly eating away at my savings and my cushion that's in my checking and that's what I wanted to stop. So since I've been doing this, with even with the prop cash, it's been keeping me on track. So that's my system and that is, that was pretty quick. So that is my cash and stuffing for the first two weeks in November. And my next video is going to be a cash stuffing with my second paycheck in November. And we're going to um, make sure that we uh, put the we um, put the correct amount in the spit. And that's pretty much it. We're going to go from there.
So uh, this is, like I said, this is a very quick and dirty video. Hope you enjoy and I hope you uh, tune into the next one and I hope to see you there. Have a great rest of the week. Take care. Bye.